Chairman De Leon, and our Secretary Garcia, Senator Ligarda, friends, uh, good afternoon. Sorry for this voice. In 1964, when the country first uh, participated in the Venice Minale, it presented works of modern sculpture and abstract expressionism. The Commissioner Emmanuel Torres then thought that they were belated gestures of modernism in light of the triumph of pop art in Venice. He nevertheless thought, though, that the works of Napoleon Abueva and Jose Hoya met the criteria of international quality and offered equivalent expression. Things have changed since then. The Philippine Pavilion returns to Venice in 2015, more strongly positioned to converse with the art of the contemporary world, and is more aware of its presence in time with others across different places. In 1915, in the Philippines, the filmmaker Manuel Conde and the painter Carlos Francisco worked together to do the first film ever on Genghis Khan, telling the tale of the conqueror's right of passage from warrior to overlord in the form of a folk tale and an adventure. It fascinated both Hollywood and Venice and was truly a global achievement. The Philippine Pavilion in Venice in 2015 is both a history of world making and a history of modern and contemporary art in the Philippines, spanning decades of productive art making from the 50s through the 90s and beyond, involving two national artists, Manuel Conde and Carlos Francisco, to whom Philippine art may be forever indebted. An exemplary figure of politically committed art in the 70s, Jose Tense Ruiz, and the dynamic filmmaker from Negros Occidental, Manny Montilibano. We are all inspired and honored to present in Venice this lively and vital spectrum of Philippine art. This project is a tribute to a cast of thousands, foremost of which to the artists, to the Philippine government, to the Philippine Art Venice Biennale Committee and the staff of the Palazzo Mora in Venice who have made sure the Philippine Pavilion opens and prevails in the Biennale. Thank you very much.